Hi everybody, today I want to talk about an ultra cheesy and really fun 1950s stupid horror film that's enjoyable to watch for all the wrong reasons. So if you like really stupid cheesy films like this that actually make you laugh, you have to see this. It's one of those from that, that family, okay? It's called The Neanderthal Man, released in 1953. Um, I have it here on a double feature disc that was put out by the uh, Scream Factory. Uh, it's uh, right there along with the double feature called uh, The Beast of Hollow Mountain. But I bought it primarily for The Neanderthal Man. I, I grew up watching this on shows like Chiller Theater or Creature Feature. Uh, and it did not dis disappoint back then. And it still doesn't disappoint. So it's a good nostalgia shot too for people who like that. Now, in this particular movie, it stars Robert Shane. Some of you might remember him from the TV series... Uh, the Adventures of Superman, he played Inspector Henderson. But he really is terrible in the acting department here. He is so bad that he is fun. Uh, he shamelessly has to recite hilarious dialogue and feverishly overact uh, as a dedicated mad scientist who's found a way to reverse the evolutionary process. And I'm telling you, Robert Shane does not apply the brakes and is overdoing it. It's it's so funny. And it's the treat of the film to watch him rant and rave about his uh, ridiculous dopey theories. But first he turns a common house cat into a throwback saber-toothed tiger, complete with tusks, you know. And it's accomplished in some scenes uh, with bad special effects where they just take a really quick close-up of a model of a tiger's head with the tusks protruding as if nobody would notice, you know. So I think that's a lot, a lot of laughs. And um, then later on, he jabs himself with a serum, which will transform him into the title character. you got to get a load of this uh, ape man's face. It is really bad. The most One of the most ridiculous-looking monsters ever on film. All they relied on was obviously a kind of Halloween mask that you throw over your head with a, a, a an ape muzzle that doesn't change and doesn't move and expressionless painted eyes. So uh, there's no, there's absolutely no expression on this monster's face. It doesn't move. Now, they do a kind of transformation process as he's turning into this creature. You see stages of applied makeup and false teeth and things which enable the actor during the transformation to kind of contort his face. I, I think they should have went with that look. Uh, they should have used one of the transformation processes as the monster. Why go with a stupid dime store mask? It just it, that, that doesn't work. Um, so anyway, the movie's a real hoot and a good deal of fun if you go for these types of silly yet entertaining creature features. And we also get to see a very young Beverly Garland in here. She would go on to do more of these uh, science fiction films and, you know, not just the 50s, but she'd go into 60s and 70s and she would be on the TV show My Three Sons after a while. Uh, there's, there's really, though, a scene here where she... Uh, blatantly has a body double where she's posing in a bathing suit and you can see a mile away it's not even Beverly Garland they change actresses in between but uh, yeah so you know where I'm coming from with this particular review it's a lot of fun and uh, for all the wrong reasons of course but on a scale of one to four I can't give it a one because it's just too damn entertaining I'm going to give it two and a half out of four just for sheer enjoyment thanks everybody take care